Good morning and welcome to Hump Day Hallelujah here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott and I'm coming to you this morning from the courtyard outside the, uh, the front doors to, to the church here at Ascension. I'm sitting outside enjoying some sunshine because we've had some rain these last couple of days, some much needed rain and uh, really comes as an answer to prayer on Sunday morning when we were gathered for worship. Um, I wasn't sure if the rain that they had talked about was ever going to materialize, but materialize it did, and we've gotten a good soaking of, the, of God's creation here in Northern California, much, much needed moisture for the, for the plants and the, and the flowers like the roses over my shoulder. And so it's good to be outside enjoying a little sunshine after the rain, but if I'm being honest, the bench I'm sitting on is not completely dry. Um, but that's okay. I'm willing to put up with it for, for the rain that we have received. At the end of a, of a good rain, I'm, I'm reminded of a rainbow. I didn't see one after the rain stopped this time, but uh, um, the rainbow is something we read about um, a couple of weeks ago in, in worship as uh, I preached about uh, the flood and, and Noah. And this fall, we've begun um, a new year of the narrative lectionary cycle. And that those, the narrative lectionary is are the text that we use to, I use to preach from every Sunday. And uh, this year, we've begun back in Genesis as we've uh, are reminded of the beginning of the story of God and God's relationship with God's creation. And so we began in Genesis 6 with the story of Noah. And uh, God was frustrated with God's creation because there had become a lot of violence and, and the people were not being good to one another. And so God decided that uh, God needed to recreate uh, creation, that God took uh, Adam, Adam, Noah, and his family and two of every living creature. And he um, had Noah build that ark. And then they resided in that ark for 40 days while it rained day and night and so much so that the waters covered the whole earth. We had less than 40 hours of rain, um, and there were times when uh, the, the, the um, sidewalks would get flooded and so forth. It's hard to imagine 40 days and 40 nights of rain, but rain it did at that time. And when the rains subsided, um, and uh, Noah and his family were able to come out of the ark, and, and God told them in a recreation story to to tend the land, to um, look after the creation, to be fruitful and multiply, as God had told Adam and Eve in, in the beginning of Genesis. God also then made a promise to, to Noah, uh, a covenant is what we often refer to those promises that God makes with us as. And that, and that promise or covenant was that God would never again cover um, all the land on, on earth with, with water. Never again would, be the, would there be a flood that size that uh, would um, result in the death of almost every living creature that existed. And the rainbow God put in the sky is a reminder of that promise. It's a reminder for us, certainly, as we see the rainbow, a beautiful rainbow with all the, all the colors that exist represented. But if we look at Genesis 12, it's actually intended to be a reminder to God. Um, God put the bow, as it says in Genesis 12, in the sky so that God would remember to never again get so frustrated with us, even though we probably quite often deserve it, that God would do something so destructive to recreate, to restart. And, and now God provides the opportunity to, to begin anew, to, for us to be recreated through, through his son, Jesus Christ. This fall, we are continuing to read through the narrative lectionary, to preach through the narrative lectionary. Last week, we looked at uh, God's promise or covenant to Abram, to Abra whose name was changed to Abraham, that his descendants would be so numerous as the stars in the sky, and that his name would be great, and that Abraham would become the father of a great nation. He became the father of our faith. And we will continue to, to look at different places throughout the Old Testament where God makes promises to God's creation, where God makes promises to God's people, where God makes promises to us. 
and we see how God is faithful to those promises. Uh, a rainbow in the sky is, an, is a reminder of that promise. Uh, a cross, uh, we've got a stained glass cross in the sanctuary. A cross is another reminder of that promise. The cross empty because Christ no longer is, in, is on it, but has been raised from the dead. And it's through that resurrection, through Christ's resurrection, that we receive the promise, the gift of everlasting life and the presence of God who created each and every one of us. So I invite you to, to tune in or come in and uh, as we read and uh, reflect on those uh, promises throughout the fall and uh, log in next week for another Hump Day Hallelujah and uh, we'll get to spend a little more time together. Hope you have a great week. Take care.